Hey guys, what's happening? So, but having some issues kind of uh, with my Red Devil here, as you see in front of you, my RX 5700s. And I've actually had these for probably about maybe like six months, maybe five months. And these things, these cards have always run hot. The memory, if you can see this right in front of you, it's uh, 92 uh, degrees Celsius. And this top one always runs actually hotter than the bottom one. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's just a bad design with these cards, but let me show you another card that actually is my favorite card, which is the uh, Sapphire RX 5700 Nitro Plus. This thing is actually an extremely well-designed card. <laughs> Look at that. 80 degrees. So a huge difference. So what I think I'm going to do is... Actually, other rig. Six home. And I'm also getting like these uh, Team Red, Red Binder reboots, too. So... Um, I'm going to try to replace the thermal pads with some thermal grizzly minus eight pads and see if I can bring this down. Um, I actually, I brought this up in a previous video, but sometimes when you have these video cards stacked together, especially with the, the back part of the car being open, the back of the, uh, the back plate, it sends hot air from the front car in front of it into this card. So, and also I, th we're, this is the middle of winter time too. So right now it's super cold out. And this thing's still running 92. So I can't imagine, like when I had this car at summertime, this thing would get up to like 96 degrees. And also, look at this too. The, uh, I'm kind of getting carried away here, but the uh, fan is 86%. And we're talking wintertime, 92 degrees. So there's something going on there. I'm not sure what it is, but um, I, I'm going to check. I'm going to replace the thermal pads and see if I can bring this down. But yeah, 86% fan and 92 in the middle of wintertime. So what the hell? All right. So yeah, I'm going to go back to my test bench. We're going to take the card apart. We're going to take a look at it. Repaste it. Take a look at the uh, thermals. All right, so here is the problem, Red Devil, right there. And what I was trying to explain to you in the video is see the output right there on the back plate? It's actually sucking hot air in and blowing it through into the next fan. That's what I was thinking. That could be contributing to the actual overheating problem. But All right, so I'm going to take this off, shut down the rig, and uh, I'm going to take off the heat sink here. Come on, I'm gonna have to get rid of the sticker, but I'll do an experiment, see if this works. You know, hopefully it does. All right, so here is the uh, Red Devil. And what's crazy is I bought this, these cards when they were 400 bucks. Um, let's see, there's six screws here. Uh, yeah, I bought them like uh, right before the GPU shortage. You know, all the scalping. So I've seen these things now on like Craigslist and Offer Up for like um, 700, 650. Pretty expensive. I'm going to take off the four screws here, and then I have the minus eight pads here too, next to me. And this is actually another one of the sapphires, my second sapphire that's in front of me here. Okay, get those out of the way. I'm going to have to be careful with this. Try to little screws out. <sighs> Trying to be careful. Alright, well, can't do this. I can't. Get the fan connector off. Ah, there we go. Looks like some luck in there. Okay, so that is, those are the, wow, they're, they're kind of, oh, they're all greasy. All right, so here is the, uh, the minus eight pads from Thermal Grizzly. So, I mean, it looks like we have we had good coverage on the, uh, yeah, it's all covered, it's oily. Um, so it looks like we had good coverage on the, on the memory modules. So... All right, so I'm going to get this cleaned up real fast. I'm going to do some research on this. Uh... It's, oh, it's Phillips Mark. It was like, <laughs> was like, what the hell's going on with that thing? Um, it had like a little Phillips Mark on the actual pad. I guess right there. All right, so hopefully we can, uh, we'll make an improvement with these uh, thermal grizzlies. All right, so I was just reading online that the, uh, the oil is actually from the breaking down of the uh, thermal pads. Silicone. So I'm going to use some electronics cleaner. Yeah, you want to use electronics cleaner that actually evaporates.
So yeah, this was my first RX 5700 here. Let it dry off. These strong grizzlies. Let's see what's in there. Never actually used this product before, so I don't know what you can expect. Yeah, it was like sixteen dollars for this little piece of silicone here. I got two milliliter. I was trying to measure with my calipers, so it looks like it's a little bit thicker. I mean, this will squish, so it's not. It's better to have thicker than too thin. I mean, it looks like you could have got away with probably about one point five milliliter. But, all right, so let's do a quick measurement on the, on the mem right here. Let's see what size I gotta cut these two. So, wide, it's about, about 12 and a half wide. Let's do that one either one to get here. And about 14 length. All right, so I'm gonna go back on a, you will just cut them. Yeah, I'll cut it like a little bit off the edge here. That way I'm not overhanging too much. I'll, I'll compare with this one of these existing pads here. All right, so I'm going to cut off a little link off the long, the long ways here. So there's a little sticky pad on there. I'm going to try to get that line as much as I can. There's another sticky thing on the other side. I'm actually going to put them on the memory directly versus put them on the heat sink. All right, I'm gonna go back and do the rest, the last eight. All right, so now I'm gonna use a little thermal compound. I'm actually using Arctic Silver uh, MX4, but I'm gonna spread that out too. All right, so I spread out my little iFixit Jimmy tool. And I carefully flip this back over, and I'll deal with the uh, getting the last. Make sure you get the plastic on the other side. There's plastic on both sides of the thermal pads here. Uh, trying to line up the holes here. That way I don't mess with the thermal pads. You know, I don't want to move them around or kind of shake them around. All right. Got a good alignment here. I'm going to get the screws back in. And uh, I'll be back. All right. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see them in the camera, but I have pretty good contact right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to put it back in my mining rig. Get the fan reconnected. Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna go back into Hive, but uh, I mean, it's noticed it'll be quiet, quieter, so. All right, so I think we have a success here. Um, so take a look at this real quick. Um, yeah, actually it is really a minus eight. <laughs> We're pretty close to it because look at this, 82 degrees now. And it was, uh, you know, 92, go for anywhere from 92 to 96. So that's actually pretty incredible. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to have to redo this one, too. But they came from the factory like that. They were hot. They were running hot, like 90, 92 when I got them. So, um, yeah, just from the factory, bad thermal pads. So, um, yeah, I, I had two like that, though. So it wasn't like some fluke. Um, one thing I noticed, though, is I had to take the card back apart again. And see how this is about 50 degrees, and this is 45? Um, I had to push push down on the pads. I had to push the heat sink down on the pad to squish the pad to get good contact between the uh, – GPU and the uh, heatsink, but uh, yeah, pretty incredible that these things definitely work. Um, I you, I think you could probably get away with the 1.5 millimeter ones um, because I know the two millimeter ones were really really expensive. Um, they were like double the price, so I think well I actually measured them with my calipers when I took them off and they were probably about 1.6 millimeter. Um, so 1.5 millimeter should be fine because they were already they were squished too. So um, wow, but look at that! What a difference. Yeah, that's how it should run. I mean, look at look at the look at the uh, sapphires compared to the, the power color. I mean, they're just a better design, I mean, cooler in every aspect. Look at that, 72, 82. So, um, yeah, if I buy any more RX 5700s, they're going to be the uh, sapphires. But cool, awesome, awesome.